Rex Spare Leak Project, how the heck are you? It's great to be here with you folks. Much appreciated you tuning in to this podcast. What I'm going to discuss with you now is a very interesting asteroid that's called 2010 NY65, and it flew past the Earth. It shaved past the Earth, as many articles say, at about 3 o'clock in the morning. Here's what's interesting. It's going to get closer next year, and it's been getting closer year after year after year after year, and I'm going to share the data with you. First, I want to show you how the mainstream news does a much better job pushing fear porn than I do. Here you go. Because I get people in the comment section, they won't even watch the podcast. They'll read a title and they'll say, oh, great, more fear porn. There's plenty of fear porn on mainstream news. There's six corporations that control over 90% of the media. They do just fine pushing fear porn. And there's plenty of other alternative websites out there that do a lot better, do much better jobs than myself in pushing doom erotica. So if that's what you're looking for, there's other opportunities for you. Now, I'll give you, you know, I'll pepper, pepper it up a little bit, add a little bit of spice to it and give my take on things. And you can, you can call that doomlicious. You can call it um, doom poon. Yet, I don't focus on fear porn. That's not the point of Leak Project. Um, so anyway, that is my quick rant, and I divagate, I digress, I'm ready to share this information with you, and I am turning off the video. Now, this is, as you can see, mainstream news, and if you look at the three top articles from Daily Mail, The Sun, and Fox News, Earth could be hit by surprise asteroid strike, expert warns. Earth set for an asteroid encounter this week. Asteroid to come terrifyingly close to Earth this week. Catastrophic asteroid, 2010 NY65, to fly by Earth June 24, 2017. Now, what I did was I took the data from the doomlicious news and I put it in to NASA's website. You know, because they never lie to us. They're always honest. And every single piece of footage that we have seen from them has never been doctored. We know that they didn't film the moon landing that they shared with us anyway in a studio. We know that it's all legit. And I hope you know I'm being sarcastic. Timeshare. So let's take a look at this, though. However, there is plenty of information out there. Let me add to that, though. Because the data that we're looking at right now, a lot of this stuff can be verified with multiple sources. It's not just NASA. Now, this right here is actually from the Goldstone Radar Observations Planning Network system, and it's a radar system here on the ground. And if you look at the charts here, let's take let's take a look at the orbit. You know, they're just hanging out. They're hanging out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's going to cut off the Earth. Oh, yeah. Whoo, that was a close one. On the inside, Earth is taking it home. Earth could be the victor in 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa, that was close. That was what I'm talking about. Now, it's doing it again. It's going to do it again. Woo, that was close. All right. So Earth is the victor. Earth made it. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If we... If we look down here a little bit further, you know, watch this chart as well. Take a look at this one. You can see that even though it looked close in that one graph, it's really not super close, or is it? Now, here's what's interesting. I just shared with you a very interesting white paper, various models that have been put together about how senators comets, large comets, asteroids. Some of these have very irregular orbits, and it's difficult to predict exactly where they're going to go. And also, remember, there are many other planets out there with irregular orbits around our sun. And those also have a cause and effect on these comets and asteroids. So, with that said... I did the math, and I can tell you, as far as miles is concerned, 
It was 1,737,711.46 miles from the Earth. That was the distance that it came to the Earth at roughly 2.38 a.m. Eastern Time. Next year, it's going to get closer. And also, remember, there are 875 known near-Earth objects orbiting the Earth, NEOs, right now that we know about. This one asteroid, this one asteroid has the force of 300 Hiroshima bombs. And now I'm going to share with you how it's actually getting closer. And look at how, that looks pretty close, but once again, it's a, here we go. You can see right here, you're looking at the data of an amateur photograph. I think this was actually from an amateur. It could be wrong. This could be from the actual. It doesn't matter whether it's an amateur or professional photograph. This is an image of the asteroid. Now, if we go to JPL, the small body database that shows you can keep track of this asteroid from the year 1900. In 2011, you can see, let's just track it from 2011 here. I'll zoom in. So 2011, it's 0.155 astronomical units away from the Earth. 2012 gets closer. 2013, it gets closer. 2014, ah, 0.0666 astronomical units away. Well, there you go. The devil. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The devil was here in 2014, and he didn't even know it. And then it gets closer. 2015, 0.04. 2016, 0.02. 0.027, and then early this morning, 0.0202, and then take a look at next year. Next year, it's getting even closer, 0 0.018 AU, according to these models. And then in 2019, it's going to be close. And then in 2020, goes a little bit further away than in 2021. Actually, comes back twice in 2020. Take a look at that. Like we just looked at that orbit there. This is something to definitely pay attention to when it gets to be about that time. And, and one thing I find interesting is remember, a lot of times we don't even see this data. We don't even get this data until after the fact. And then we have to keep track of it. Otherwise, it'll be just something completely different that'll be on our minds. So here's the data. We just looked at the orbit. Now, this is another very interesting chart that I found. Spaceweather.com. Great website. Look at all these objects that are going to be flying past the Earth here over the next X amount of years. And I want to throw something out there as far as why we don't have more footage of our planet from a bird's eye view, I feel that it's because there's probably a lot of space tech out there to offset a lot of these asteroids and comets. You know, if they see something out there and we know about it, well, then they can use certain technologies to push them further away and hopefully avoid impact. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because I think that it's interesting how not only does the media itself do a, a, a very good job pushing the fear factor. When you want to get to the actual data, you can see for yourselves, they're taking little bits and pieces, and then we can find the rest of the information if we actually just do our due diligence. So thank you for being here with me. More on the way. Question everything. Be excellent to each other, and be the change you want to see.